four. E5 is the likely move. Let's do this. Not really a necessary move just yet. Okay, if we go here, then we can take that way, so. Don't mind this now. Take with the D-Pawn. It's probably the only instance that you would ever play E4 in a timeout off setup or e5 is if it forces them to take and so you can immediately correct your structure because you never want to end up with this so this pawn i never want to push to c4 i need this guy here covering uh, the d4 square okay let's have a look and see if we can try to control where this knight is going. Knight here by the looks of it, maybe to f4. Let's play g3. Knight c5, I think we can handle at the moment. E4 is a nice move. You'll notice how I kind of want my pawns on dark squares. I want them controlling dark squares. Four. Okay, I've kind of achieved it. These dark square pawns are the best gift I could possibly give my position with two bishops. Uh, I think we've kind of got to do some trading here. The reason I'm playing this is to stop bishop h6, which is his idea to trade bishops. I got to admit, it's a little annoying. Ooh, takes, takes. He's offering this pawn, but he wants to play f4 after that. Okay, that's bold. I think we've got to take it, though. Take, I think throw in this check after he goes f4. Then maybe get the bishop all the way back. Could go back to d2. That's what I'm kind of wrestling with. Like, which one do we do? And I'm going to choose this just because it allows my queen over here, my rook up here. Takes will take back. Queen here. We definitely want to get a queen trade. So I'd be very happy with that. Don't want to do that now because queen f2. But I would like to challenge with rook f1. How can I do that? Queen here. I have to be a little uh, precise. I have to be a little precise here. Queen f2. Bishop e3 is kind of uh, presenting itself as the move here. Wow, that's quite something. I mean, I guess I'm just gonna have to take and ask questions later. Queen here, not sure that my opponent has anything better than just to take. Now I'm gonna be threatening checkmate. So I think he has to take. Something we need to take. Just go back. T5. 
taking is uh, kind of like resigning. Just makes the position a lot easier to play. Notice how he can't use any of those squares. Our king gets up. We're going to slowly run him out of moves here. Just going to keep waiting. Can't go there, so... Where you going, bud? Oh, one on time. I didn't even get a chance to finish showing what was in the checkmate course. Could have made two queens there, so it was really up to me which one we wanted to do. Make two queens, do the latter, great technique, but I like to put the bishop in the corner and then just meet with the, the king and queen because. It means you're not going to stalemate. So. We move on to the next king. We didn't actually get the black pieces there. So we didn't get a chance to uh, see the time on up yet. Yet. Okay. Can we entice you into e4? We cannot. <laughs> the answer is no. Evening, Bobby Mac. Well, we're gonna try to get the setup here. It's not gonna be perfect because, again, white played this and it's not really an e4 position, but if they play something like d4, then can still hope for a similar position. Ninety-seven, and ninety-seven comes with a maybe a threat. Ninety-five, knight c5. So the queen is placed perfectly for me to do something like that, which is why I wouldn't really go knight c6 unless there was a specific reason to. Let's start with this. He's probably going to go back, and he does. Rookie eights, also an important move. I suspect he might be interested in this. He might go b4. I have a feeling. He's a he's a guy interested in b4. I feel. Here, so e5 now. How much of a threat is e5? It does look annoying, but we have knight g4 we can play. This looks really suspicious, but 
can't seem to make something work there for some reason. It's definitely a tactic there, but I don't think I'm locating it right now. So, I'll just go here. Knight F3. Then maybe Rook D8, I don't know. One thing about E5 is it can always go Knight um, C5 and move the other Knight, but it's the Bishop being hanging, which is why Rook, C Rook E8 might be very well be the next move. I'm doing this to guard that square. Ain't no problem, yo Jimbo. Rook d8 because opening the d file also looks pretty bad. Knight takes, I have to admit, I didn't expect. Time for this move. Doesn't matter if it looks like it loses a pawn. 25 seconds. Perfect time for this move. I think it's a great move anyway. We have lots of threats here. Queen b6. Looks super scary. Sorry, it looks super scary to me. My bad. My bad. Rajitha, quite the speedster, I have to say. You know what I was ready to do, Salty? Pawn takes, we were ready. March that up the board, baby. And we were ready. Didn't need to, though. GG. Still didn't quite get the Taimanov out of him, though. Here we go. A national master. Can we uh can we get a timeout of here? Not quite, but you know, we're in the we're in the territory. Okay. Don't think we're gonna get a timeout of from this particular move order. I am very surprised by that. <laughs> huh. That's that's like a really weird move to me. Let me give a check and just see what's happening here. I'm confused. <laughs> Look, I'm being ridiculous here, but I don't know. I I don't know what he's uh, what he's doing, and I could be in the wrong here. But let me just. Just plant this knight on c2. Okay, queen has to move, but at this point, is that really a problem? Knight here, queen takes, is not for me. But what about queen here? Seems okay. Or queen here. I don't think I really want to be that close to the action.
All right, we have, we've gotten the exchange. <laughs> That's all I can report. Not sure how I feel about it. But ladies and gentlemen, we have the exchange. Want to trade pieces where we can. Maybe 97 in castle. It's a good move. I'm going to go here. Here, e5. We like slash dislike that. Go here. I'm gonna regret it, I'm sure. We'll come to regret it, I'm sure. Okay, but this is now a position I think we should be happy with. He's gonna have counterplay here. But, one thing I can say is I think my pieces are safe. Okay, now we're getting doubled up here. Can you take this? I take it now, queen c6, rook b5, I'm not really getting in. Here I can take. Check king f7. Doesn't get him where he wants to go. This is surprising. I could win this pawn, but I'd actually rather win this one, I think. Okay, this is a bad spot for him. Bishop can't really move. Let's play g6 now. His king is stuck. He's gonna have to let me go here because he doesn't have any moves. If his king moves, I take that pawn. Let's go here and then and just clean up the rest of the pawns. GG. Okay. Didn't quite get our full time on off there. He played c4. I don't know what the opening was. Complete nonsense. I'm sure that uh, that wasn't exactly how it's supposed to go. But what the heck is b3? I've never seen this move before. I was astonished. So I know the engine is just going to be all over this for white because this just looks like way too much from, from me. But still, I like this. Punish him. Don't let him play that way. No one is uh, an e5 player, eh? I can't interest anyone. There we go. Someone. Finally. Okay. Starting e4, so just like in the timeout of, we have to play d3. Why is e5 bad? No, e5 is not bad. It's just 
this is how I get the position to look like the reverse Sicilian. So now I'm playing my Taimanov structure with white. So at least we get to learn from both colors now. Nothing wrong with this at all. In fact, it might be one of the best moves. Let's go H4. I'm going to play a little more loose in this one. Knight A4. Useful idea, rather than just trading, go where the guy does not want you to go. C5. And play B6. He's put his bishop there. It's not on E7, so he can't even take it. Knight C5 is going to hit like a truck. Takes, bishop f5. I think there's still some work to be done there. Knight c5 can be played. But man, that looks a little weird. Not gonna lie. There's a lot of good moves here. There are a lot of good moves. I don't really want to play that move if I can avoid it. Just so lame to just win material. I'd rather do, uh, rather do something better. All right, plain boring here. This is defended, which is what I was hoping to to use. Only safe square, by the way. just seems to open up way too many doors. Is that move really it? Feels so wrong. Knight f4, I don't know. It's probably absolutely the correct move. But we're gonna play it safe and involve the knight. Queen f6, probably castle. Queen attacked, which means sidestep with a check. I don't have this, so knight g5 doesn't really make an impact yet. If I had bishop c4, then knight g5 would actually really hurt. Uh, but now it does because it's a fork. There we go. And that H4 move, it seemed like nothing when we played it, but it was the reason we eventually delivered the, uh, the fatal blow. And we've been getting the white pieces a lot. I'm convinced if you really want to see an opening, or rather, if you really want to gain rating, pretend you're doing a challenge where you can only play one opening. And lo and behold, you will always, always get the other color. <laughs> That's just the way it works. So pick an opening that you're trying to speed run with the black pieces and you will get white every single game. <laughs>
That's what I've learned. Here we have knight d4, so not too concerned. d3. Queen d7 might get played. All right, you're handing me this. You must have something in store. I know that that exists, but hey, I've got a queen check. I'm not useless here. Yeah, g6, I'll just take a step back. Could also go here now that I think about it. Evans Gambit speedrun. I mean, you have to think about when you think of these speedruns, it's just how specific are they? This is maybe the most specific run that I've done. Uh, and the reason is because, hey, it's the time mana off, so e4 has to happen, knight f3 has to happen, d4 has to happen before it's called the time mana off. That's a lot of moves. Even after d4, there's still more sub variations, so. Ouch. Walked into mate, chess villains. It's had enough. Dang, we're really not getting uh, e4, c5. Oh, we are. He came back with seconds to spare. He wanted to make sure we played this time out of. Respect to this guy. Okay, b takes c6, takes. Knight out. If this happens, we always block. Bishop g5, always bishop e7. Always castle. Let's throw in a little bit of this. We should be in a good spot here. At least an easy, easy position to play. I've got that, so. A knight here. What's up with this move? So I'm looking at e5. I'm looking at queen f4 potentially. He's looking at this. e5. Yeah, so bishop here, I always want to play that. Here, I'll play this for now. E5 here. Also just move this. Queen C3, Queen C5. C3 doesn't work. Our Brook's not gonna stay there forever. I think he's going to bring the knight back to a normal square. Knight e4, probably the next move. A, uh, that's a resourceful move. We'll go here. I think we'll go here. Four, we'd be pretty happy to see. I think he wants to play c4. Let's do this finally. c4, d4.
Bishop here. No, he goes back to e2. Okay. E4, or Queen D4, I think we're okay with. Rook C6. Don't think he's going to do that. Now, why did he give me the C file? Now I'm going to start invading. The knight doesn't have squares. G6 is going to be a nice move for me. Wait, Rook here. I guess he's bringing the knight back. It's time for me to start pushing this pawn. If we don't get these pawns going, we got nothing. There we go. I have to stop this knight from being able to move. Knight's completely trapped right now. Naturally, he's making some room for it. Ouch. Man, isn't it... Uh... Isn't it something? We have not gotten a true timeout of until that game. So that was special. For us to play the timeout of during our timeout of series, boy, I, I mean, I'm gonna shed a tear. E4, Knight F3, E4. Okay, I'll tolerate it. <laughs> I'll tolerate it. Okay. Should be seven, castle. Let's throw in B5. It's a common motif here with this pin. We'll just step back. Bishops still go to the same squares. Knight back to d7. I am you and you are me. Oh, this is a... Uh... Important, everyone pay attention. We don't live in a world of limitations. Look at the person right next to you in chat. They are a piece of you. I am you and you are me. Two bishops, materials even right now. Hmm. 
Knight d5, we're just going to take it. We're happy with that. His knight's really bad on a3. Not interested in rushing to capture that. Maybe I'll take it, but I don't think I need to rush, so. His pieces are really misplaced. That's not a great move. Not a great looking move, rather. Hmm. Is it time to just take? checks to get out of there so so i wasn't particularly bothered by this move queen c4 check let's keep the bishop Looks dangerous that way. Queen g6, bishop f8. Just gonna keep my pieces there. I'd like to go here. Good game. I mean, people are playing well. People are playing well. I'd love to have a timeout off. We've had one out of every game today, I think. I say maybe because people are playing well today. For 2300. And it's hard to get these timeout off setups. No setups for me. Okay, I just want to make him nervous that maybe the bishop gets trapped. Well, it worked. <laughs> I don't know if I'm happy about the result. is hanging but there's a lot of other other things on the go here all right i'll trade you squares i get this square you can take there but it's gonna be some uh friendly fire back the other way Hmm. 
Let's take... Hello, Eviscerated. Takes there. Let's be extra careful. It's actually a really annoying threat. Don't know if this is good or bad. I'm just going to toss the rook in. I don't know if I trust it, but you know. This is a, I think, pretty good compensation. We'll block the rook out and look to push my pawn. I think his pieces are kind of bad and the rook's not doing anything. This pawn is super dangerous, so I think this should be enough. Here, there's a bishop here, so let's just go like this, attack the rook, and also block this. That move I do not think helps you out. Here, there's bishop e4. Hmm. Don't really want to allow that. But this, I think, should be the end of the game. Not allowing him to even sack anymore. If this was uh, not covered, then maybe that would be an idea. But as it stands, I think. We should be able to handle it. Easiest, I guess. Pretty hard to actually uh, avoid that. We don't mind him taking our bishop. In fact, we welcome it. Game. 2300. So hard to come by. But we barely got any time out of games. Which is why you see me end most of my series around 2000, because after that, it's just so unpredictable. The stutter step KO. All right, KO for that. But mainly for 2300. We reach. We reached a level in chess that we never thought possible. Imanov made it happen. Games are sweaty, absolutely. Not that they're tough to win, but we're just not even getting the opening that we're here to look at, you know?